color, just like the Jewish people are. They have stole our inheritance. They stole everything. They're bigger bonds. Okay? They, 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 they nation stealers. They steal people's nations and heritage and everything from them. Look at them right now. They paid $5 to be in, in, up in Oklahoma to be an Indian. They paid $5. And now they're called a $5 Indian. And they get all the benefits and rights that the uh, Indians get. It ain't a lick of Indian nowhere in them. Nothing but them being real, the real savages, which is what the word Indian mean. Okay? But the hour coming, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit, in his word, and in truth. Okay, you should know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Christ said it itself, my word is spirit, and it is life. Okay? Not capable shandidiya shakaba, running around and... And, and letting some man lay his nasty, dirty hands on you, and you call it falling all out, talking about that you, you fell out in the spirit, uh, slayed in the spirit. You're going to get slayed, all right, if you don't change your wicked ways. For he seeks such to worship him. Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. If you go to John 1, you'll see that he said the spirit was with him. The word was with him. Amen. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. It's flesh to this day. All right. Um, let's go to Isaiah. Uh, we didn't know I already went there to prove to you that. We're going to close this thing up. Let's go to Romans 9 and 15. Romans 9 and 15. You remember, you can read uh, in the beginning um, that uh, uh, up in uh, 9 and 1, where Paul explained, is, gently tells you that he is an Israelite, okay? All right. Uh, Romans 9 and 15 through 18. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, Okay? First, let's go to 13. Let's read 13 for you get understand. As it is written, I read it to you a while ago. As it is written, as it is written, as it is written, Jacob have, a, have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Elohim? Certainly not. He'd do whatever he want to do. Okay? Didn't he not destroy Pharaoh? Did he not destroy e Egypt? Because of what they done? Huh? Same way you're going to do to the rest of these, these clowns that have mistreated the apple of his eye. As it is written, okay, um, um, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I choose to have mercy on. Now, if he choose to have mercy on, 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 on uh, uh, Esau, so then let it be. He's God. He can do whatever he wants to. He's God. He can do whatever he wants to, but he's not. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Elohim that showeth mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee. Now he raised Pharaoh, he's showing you that the same way he did Esau, raised and gave him power, is the same way he did Pharaoh. He did Pharaoh the same way he did Esau. But did he spare Pharaoh? <laughs> no. He destroyed Egypt. They drowned in the Red Sea. Remember? Y'all might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And it was declared through all the earth. One, everyone heard what he did. Therefore had he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will he harden it. Okay? The mercy was to Israel, even though we keep on disobeying him over and over and we're not hearken 
to his word. We are the people of Israel. If you don't believe it, you're going to be destroyed with the rest of them. I, I have no other way to tell you this but to straight tell you. Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14, and we're going to start at verse number 1. We're going to see who he said he have, He will have mercy on, okay? For Yahweh, for Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land. When you possess something, that means you take ownership of it. So we're going to uh, uh, own these other people. They will be our slaves, okay? So so you can, you can say everybody's going to heaven. Yeah, they sure is. They're going to be our servants and our slaves, okay? And, and, and it goes on to say, Then in the land of Yahweh for servants, and for handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives we were. They were, I mean, and they shall rule over the ones that oppressed us. All right? Uh, uh, and then let's go to see who, who oppressed us. And then that's it. All right, I'm through. Uh, let's go to the book of Zechariah, chapter 11. Starting with verse number 4. Thus said Yahweh, my Elohim, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. That is us. Our oppressors is killing our kids all day long with nothing in their hand. And I always tell about, I thought they had a gun. I thought they had a weapon. I thought they had this. And kill them down and get off with it. Let's read that again. Thus said Yahweh, my Elohim, feed the flock of the slaughter. We are being slaughtered. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich. They have sold us, and they have become rich off of us. If you go back and do history, you'll find out that the, that, uh, uh, the Dow Jones and all that stuff, first Wall Street started with the, with the selling of slavery. The Christmas gifts and all that they, they gave us for Christmas, and yet we celebrated more than the, the devils that created these wicked holidays. And then he says, uh, 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 Bless Yahweh, for I am rich. And their own preachers, own shepherds, pity them not. So if your pastors is up in them Christian churches, and then they seeing these boys getting killed and they not saying nothing. You fall in the same wicked devil. All right? Shalom.